All right, this video is to explain how to output the MT Power Drum Kit 2 to multiple tracks in Reaper. This is a popular free plugin, and I'll include the link in the description below. Okay, if you're starting from scratch, the first thing you're going to want to do is load a virtual instrument track as shown here. Choose the MT Power Drum Kit, click Add. This window will pop up, and you'll want to choose Yes. And now your screen should look like this, and there should be eight tracks added. At the bottom of the plug-in screen, you'll want to click the Mixer button. At the bottom of the fader tray, each drum channel will be assigned to an output. The output is essentially the track number, and you'll want to click on this and assign it to whichever track that you want. For example, the kick in one, the snare in two, the hi-hat in three, and so on. You're only going to have eight tracks in total, so you'll have to make some choices about some things that you'll have to double up into your tracks. For example, you might put all the toms in one stereo track, or you could put all the cymbals in one stereo track. This is really up to you and whatever works best for your workflow and plans. Now this is starting from scratch, but let's say like this, you've already got your drums pre-programmed, and now you want to go ahead and break those drums out. That's still possible as well. For this, it's pretty simple. I'll just stop the track from playing here. When the track is stopped, go ahead to your MIDI drum track and choose the FX button to bring the plug-in up. On the plug-in window, click the Option tab. Mouse down to Build Multi-Channel Routing and select Yes. All right, this will give you eight tracks. Now on the drum plug-in, you'll want to go ahead and press the mixer button again. And now, just like before, select the output for each one of the drum channels. And as I said before, the output is the same as the track. Whatever output you choose will be the track it goes to. The same rules apply as before. You'll have eight tracks to choose from, so you'll have to make your drum channels fit into those eight tracks, whether that's combining cymbals or combining toms, whatever works for you. Whether you're starting from scratch or doing this method, don't forget to name the track so you know what's in each track. I like to go in order of kick, snare, hat, toms, and then the cymbals, but you can use whatever's comfortable for you. And then one last thing, the MIDI track itself, you can go ahead and bring that volume control down. All the drums now will be controlled by the individual track volumes. And that's pretty much it. It's really that simple. It's not necessarily that intuitive, but once you know what to do, it's pretty easy and pretty quick to do. Hopefully this video was a help to you, and uh, please subscribe, and I'll try and do more. Thank you.